In this example, we're going to give an IV bolus of norepinephrine, then we're going to allow it to be totally eliminated from the system, and then give an IV bolus of phentolamine. Norepinephrine is an agonist of alpha-1, alpha-2, and beta-1 adrenoceptors. Phentolamine is an antagonist of alpha-1 and alpha-2 adrenoceptors. So first, we'll begin with norepinephrine. We're going to draw our diastolic pressure, our systolic pressure, and our mean arterial pressure. We're also going to record the heart rate on this graph. Norepinephrine will be administered at the purple arrow, and recall that it is an agonist of alpha-1, alpha-2, and beta-1 receptors. Agonism of alpha-1 adrenoceptors on the vascular smooth muscle will cause vasoconstriction. This will be manifest as an increase in the diastolic blood pressure. Systolic blood pressure is built on top of diastolic blood pressure, so you would expect it to show a parallel rise in blood pressure along with the diastolic. However, norepinephrine is an agonist of beta-1 receptors. It's going to increase heart rate and cardiac contractility, resulting in an increase in stroke volume and cardiac output. So the rise in systolic pressure that you see is going to be a greater magnitude than the rise in diastolic pressure. This is going to be manifest as an increase in pulse pressure, that is, an increase in the systolic minus diastolic amount. And if you compare the pulse pressure after drug administration to the pulse pressure before drug administration, you see that norepinephrine has caused an increase in pulse pressure. When you see an increase in pulse pressure, think increased contractility and beta-1 agonist effects. The mean arterial pressure will rise during this time, and as a result of the rise in mean arterial pressure, you're going to see reflex activation that is a decrease in sympathetic activity, resulting in decreased heart rate and contractility or stroke volume, and an increase in parasympathetic activity, which will manifest as a decrease in heart rate. And so as we monitor our heart rate, we will see a decrease in heart rate. However, it's not as much as you would expect. And this is because norepinephrine has beta-1 agonist effects. So it is going to be directly stimulating the heart rate in and of itself. So reflex decreases in heart rate due to parasympathetic activation will not be as large as you would expect to see because they're counteracted by the beta-1 action of the drug. Now let's talk about what happens with phentolamine. We've eliminated all of the excess norepinephrine from our system and we're going to give phentolamine, which is an antagonist of alpha-1 and alpha-2 receptors. Phentolamine is going to counteract the effects of sympathetic tone, that is, constitutively released norepinephrine on the alpha-1 and alpha-2 adrenoceptors in the body. So as a result of blocking the sympathetic nervous system's effect on alpha-1 receptors, we're going to see vasodilation. And Remember that alpha-2 receptors are our negative feedback receptors. So by blocking alpha-2 receptors, we remove the negative feedback on norepinephrine release in response to sympathetic activity. We're going to administer phentolamine at the brown arrow, and we see our expected vasodilation producing a decrease in diastolic pressure. We also see Systolic pressure began to decline as systolic is built on top of diastolic pressure and our mean arterial pressure declines as well. Now as a result of this decrease in blood pressure, we do see a decrease in mean arterial pressure causing a reflex increase in sympathetic activity and a reflex decrease in parasympathetic mediated effects on heart rate. So overall, you would expect to see some increase in heart rate and contractility. So you do see an increase in heart rate. 
So you do see the expected increase in heart rate that occurs as the result of reflex sympathetic activation. And because you have reflexively activated the sympathetic nervous system, you don't see as much of a decline in the systolic pressure as you would ordinarily expect from it piggybacking on top of this diastolic pressure, which has decreased a great deal. Okay, and here's our mean arterial pressure. Notice that our pulse pressure is actually a little bit wider than it was before drug administration. And this is due to the reflex sympathetic activity increasing cardiac contractility. Now there is one complicating factor to all of this, and that is the alpha-2 receptors. Phentolamine blocks alpha-2 receptors and removes negative feedback from the system. And so blocking these alpha-2 receptors is actually going to increase the magnitude or extent of the reflex sympathetic activity. So you may actually see even a greater increase in heart rate and contractility than you would expect. So this decrease in the systolic pressure might even be less than what you see on this graph. The curve might be closer to being flat. It might even go up a little bit. It's hard to say. But in any case, there is the potential for this removal of negative feedback to attenuate or accentuate, I should say, sympathetic responses.